Hey guys, this is Terry at Vorschlag. I'm gonna do a quick walk through the shop for this week at Vorschlag video on February 1st, 2023. All right, the first one up is Trigger, our 2015 Mustang with an LS engine that we've converted to a 2018 and up front end. Uh, this car is finally running, driving. We have all the suspension set up and aligned. We did our first dyno test and we had a couple of issues. We just fixed those. Uh, we had some spark plug issues that were manufactured uh, wrong and we have remote mounted coils so we had to make new plug wires the first kit we had from ict billet uh, two of the ends that were actually pre-made were made incorrectly and i kept pushing off of the spark plug uh, in, in the dyno test and we chased that for many hours on the dyno uh, we should be going back soon with new plug wires from taylor cable we're hoping to make about 500 wheel horsepower with this horsepower research built 6.3 liter stroker LS6. Uh, it's just a hydraulic roller, pump gas, nothing special. This is kind of a inexpensive engine, uh, kind of our training wheels engine to get us started. We've been working on the interior, little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, we've got our dual fire pools, our car tech kills, our center stack gauge cluster, and our shift boot uh, with a custom shifter for the t56 magnum xl a little disappointed we couldn't make the aim dash work but we've got the holly dash working for now that's the trunk release we've got anderson composites carbon hood doors trunk I'm trying to save weight in this car we haven't cut anything out of this car yet except for the trunk floor which we did to put these massive magnaflow mufflers and the dual three and a half exhaust it's a little overbuilt for a 500 wheel horsepower engine but um, it'll help us keep this thing quiet and i hate loud slow race cars so at least we'll be quiet and slow this is a 69 camaro tube frame race car we've been building this over several years we've been stuck with waiting on a few parts um, fixing some things that were customer supplied pieces that we had to kind of work around we finally got all that sorted it's running, it's driving, it's ready to go to the alignment shop, and then shortly after that, it'll go to the dyno. Most recent thing we did was making this elaborate tow hook assembly, because there's really no structure in the whole front of this car. We've got the front lower splitter off, so that uh, it'll go on the dyno and the alignment rack's easier. This is our Painter Shiloh's car. It's a 69 Dodge Cornette 500 RT, and it's got a Gen 3 uh, Hemi motor. TR6060 manual transmission and a big blower off the front. It came to us with some suspension needs. We've made a steering shaft for it. We're working on changing all the front control arm bushings, some of which are stuck in the car. We've got the steering column mounted and we had to trim the tunnel. We've got the 6060 shifter mounted and uh, working on some rear suspension stuff next. This is a BMW E46 330 four-door sedan and a ZHP option. It's got a really fancy suede interior. Um, this one came to us with a ESS supercharger, some really worn out old ASTs. And a lot of little things we're fixing, we're storing. We've replaced a lot of the plastics under the hood and fixing some vacuum leaks and a number of suspension bushings need to be changed. And we'll be selling this one shortly. This is an E46 coupe that we built. Uh, we caged this one. And a former group of employees that worked here years ago started this with us and we were working on this after hours. They've all moved on to different jobs. And we're making time now after a little hiatus to get back to this. It's got a 5.3 LS built by HBR, 1811 wheels, MCS triples, a lot of other goodies. Uh, Tremec TKX, five speed manual transmission, a Prius electric assist steering rack. Yesterday, we just put this uh, sunroof delete panel in, and we've got a lot of other projects planned for this. Just got this trunk panel bolted in. We're about to mount the shock reservoirs as soon as the seals at kits show up. This is my 2000 Silverado uh, regular cab short bed. It's got an HPR little 347 LS motor in it, 20 by 11s, 315s. It's getting a little frozen out here right now, but we have some tuning work planned for this and we should have some dyno numbers soon. And this one's been fully restored. We're about to put it up for sale. 
We have a number of vehicles out in the barn. This all carbon C606, which we haven't done anything with in a few years. Uh, but this 23 BRZ, we've done a lot to this. It's got MCS remote double suspension, um, different sway bars, bushings, arms. We're we'll running this this year in the SCCA time trial competition. You can see we had a bit of an ice storm here, but the Maverick doesn't care. Our all-wheel drive two liter EcoBoost Maverick has got MCS coilovers, Inky 18 nine and a halfs. I'm about to install a Cobb access port tuner on this. Great little truck, we love it. Well, that's all we have in the shop right now. There's several more off at other shops being tuned or at the painters. Thanks for tuning in and we'll have more of these videos throughout 2023.